A broken window. This is Janet Smith in apartment twenty-three. Can I speak to the apartment manager? Hi. How can I help you today? Well, my window facing the empty lot is broken. Oh, that's not good. What happened? I don't know. I wasn't home when it happened. Do you have any clue who might have done this? I have a feeling that it might have been the neighborhood kids. Why? What leads you to that suspicion? Well, next to the broken glass was a baseball. Well, a baseball is certainly solid evidence. I saw them playing just before I left my apartment. Well, did you recognize any of them? No, I just took a quick look. Well, it'll take a couple of days to repair it. A friend of mine is in the business. How about if I call him? That's okay by me. First, let me come see the damage. Come on over. So, does my friend charge you or me? Since you didn't break it, you don't have to pay for it. That's a relief. I thought I was going to get stuck with the bill. If I knew which kid did it, I would bill his parents. This is Janet Smith in apartment twenty-three. May I speak to the apartment manager? Speaking. What can I do for you? Something happened to my window. It's broken. That doesn't sound good. Do you know how it happened? I don't know the exact details. Do you have an idea who might be responsible for the window? I'm almost sure it is the local kids in the apartments. How did you come to that conclusion? There was a baseball in my living room along with the broken glass. Well, at least there's no mystery about how it happened. I saw a group of them playing in the lot just before I went out to my car. Can you tell me which ones you recognized? I just looked at them for a second. I'll call a repairman, but it, it might take two days. How about if I call a friend of mine who is a repairman? That's no problem. I'll come by right now to look at the damage. Okay, come on over. But tell me, who pays for this? You can pay for it, and I can reimburse you, or he can bill me directly. I'm glad to hear that. I didn't want to get stuck with the bill. I will bill the kid's parents if I ever find out which kid did it. I'm Janet Smith in apartment twenty-three. Is this the apartment manager? Hello. What can I do for you today? My living room window is broken. Are you serious? Do you know what happened? I am not really sure because I was out when it occurred. Do you have any idea who might have been behind this? Something tells me it might be some of the kids in the complex. What led you to think it might be the kids in this building? I found a baseball near the broken glass. Well, you can't ignore a baseball in your living room, can you? I saw them in the lot just before I went out. Do you know any of them? No, I didn't pay any attention to who they were. I'll call the window repairman, but it'll probably take a couple of days. I could get fast service if I call a friend of mine. I don't have a problem with that. Let me look at the damage first. Okay, I'm waiting for you. But who does my friend give the bill to? Since the kids broke it, your friend can bill me. Whew! <laughs> I was worried that I would have to pay for it. Believe me, if I found out which kid broke the window, I'll bill his parents. Security deposit. John speaking. John, my name is Terry Evans. I have good news for you. I'm all ears. What is it? Your rental application has been approved. The owner thinks you'll be an excellent tenant. Oh, that's so good! It makes my day. Now, before you move in, you have to pay some fees. Fees? What are you talking about? You know, first and last month's rent and the security deposit. Oh, of course. When you said fees, I was thinking of parking fees or something. That will come to three thousand five hundred dollars. Two thousand five hundred plus one thousand. You can send me the check. I'll do that immediately. Where do I send it? Mail it to thirty thirty-five East Foothill Boulevard, Pasadena, California nine one one zero seven. One more question: When can I move in? You can move in on the first. Stop by here and pick up your keys. Great. What's your phone number? My number is six two six five five five. Three zero zero zero.
I'm John Smith. How can I help you? Hi, John. This is Terry Evans. I've got some good news for you. I hope you're from the lottery. Go ahead. The apartment owner was impressed with your interview. He has approved your rental application. Oh my gosh, that's wonderful news! Of course, there are some fees to pay before you move in. Fees? I don't remember anything about fees. You know the usual: first and last month's rent and the security deposit. But of course, you cannot move in unless you pay such fees. So you could write me a check for three thousand five hundred dollars. That's two thousand five hundred and one thousand deposit. No sooner said than done. Where shall I mail it? Just mail it to thirty thirty-five East Foothill Boulevard, Pasadena, California nine one one zero seven. So when will I be able to move in? Move in on the first. Come on by my office and pick up your keys. Sounds great. Tell me your phone number. Certainly, my office number is sixty-six five 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 three zero zero zero. Yes, this is John Smith. John, this is Terry Evans. I called to tell you I have good news. Great. What is it? The owner has approved your rental application. He enjoyed talking to you. That's great. He seemed like a really nice guy. Now, before you can move in, you need to pay some fees. Fees? What kind of fees? You know, first and last month's rent and security deposit. Oh, those fees. First and last, it's two thousand five hundred, and the deposit is a thousand. Just send me a check for three thousand five hundred. No problem. What's your address? Send it to thirty thirty-five East Foothill Boulevard, Pasadena, California, nine one one zero seven. So, when can I move in? The first of next month. Just stop by my office and pick up your keys. Very good. Let me have your phone number. Sure, it's sixty-six five 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 three zero zero zero. Mailbox key missing. Hi, Nicole. This is Jimmy in three zero nine. Hello, Jimmy. Can I help you? I've got a little problem. Tell me your problem, and maybe I can help. I've looked everywhere, but I can't find my mailbox key. Well, that's pretty minor. I lost my car keys and house keys once. As if that wasn't bad enough, I also misplaced the duplicate. Well, if it's an emergency, come by here and I'll lend you a key. No, even if there's a bill in there, it can wait. If you don't mind waiting until Wednesday, I'll make two more keys for you. Oh, I can wait. Believe me. Okay. See you Wednesday. They're not free, you know. It'll be four dollars. Hello, Nicole. This is、uh, Jimmy in three zero nine. Hello, Jimmy. What's up? You're not going to believe this. Believe me, I think I've heard everything. I can't find my mailbox key. Is that all? That's a lot better than losing your car keys. I had a duplicate, but I can't find it either. If you come by my place, I can loan you a key. There's no emergency. All I get is junk mail and bills. Can you wait till Wednesday? I'll make you two more keys. Sure, that'll be fine. Okay, I'll see you Wednesday, but it's going to cost you two dollars per key. Can I speak to Nicole? This is Jimmy in apartment three zero nine. Hi, Jimmy. This is Nicole. What's happening? You probably never heard this one before. Don't bet on it. I've been an apartment manager for a long time. I've looked everywhere, but I can't find my mailbox key. Well, that's pretty minor. I lost my car keys and house keys once. To make matters worse, I can't find my duplicate either. If you want, come over here and I'll lend you a key. No, there's nothing vital in the mailbox, just junk and bills. If you can wait until Wednesday, I'll make you two more keys for you. Wednesday's fine. Okay, I'll bring them by Wednesday. Have four dollars ready for me. Interviewing a potential roommate. Hello, this is Anna. Hi, I'm Jack.、Uh, you called about the room for rent. Are you still interested? Yes, I am. I was wondering if I could ask you a couple of questions. Shoot. I just want to be sure that we get along. 
I agree with you 100%. We must get along. Are you a party animal? Oh, no. I'm a very quiet person. Great. Next, are you neat or are you a slob? I'm a pretty neat person. Are you a night owl or a day person? Early to bed, early to rise. Finally, do you smoke? Actually, I quit smoking four years ago. Excellent answers. Do you have any questions for me? Just one. Is there a parking lot? Unfortunately, you have to park in the street. Well, I'm desperate. I'll take it anyway. Great. Let me know when you're ready to move in. I think it'll be tomorrow if that's okay. No problem. I'll be here all day tomorrow. Hi, this is Anna. Hi, my name is Jack. You called about a room for rent. Are you still interested? Yes, more than you know. I don't mean to pry, but could I ask you a couple of questions? Ask away. I don't want us to be roommates who don't get along. Yes, we must get along if we're going to be roommates. Is partying one of your priorities? I'm a student. I don't have time to party. Very good. Now, do you clean up after yourself? I clean up my own mess, and I expect others to do so, too. What time do you usually hit the sack? Occasionally, I stay up late if there's a big test the next day. What about smoking? If I ever get elected president, I will ban smoking nationwide. Very good. Now, would you like to ask me anything? Yes, I have one question. Do I have to park in the street? I'm sorry, yes, you have to park your car in the street. I hate street parking, but I need the apartment now. Very good. Just call me when you're ready to move your stuff over here. How about if I come over tomorrow afternoon? Just ring the doorbell. I'll be here all day. Hello, you've reached Anna. I'm Jack. Are you still interested in renting a room? Yes, very much so. Would it be alright if I asked you some questions? Fire away. I just want to make sure that we're compatible. That's a good idea. We need to get along. Do you like to party? I don't party, and I don't like people who do. Great. Now, are you a neat person, or do you leave trash all over? One of my mottos is to clean as you go. Do you sleep in or rise early? I go to bed early, and I get up early. And last, are you a smoker? I can't stand cigarette smoke. Excellent. Now, do you have any questions for me? Only one. Where can I park my car? I hate to tell you, but it's street parking. I don't like it, but I need an apartment now, so I'll take it. Great. Give me a call, and I'll help you move your stuff in. Will tomorrow be okay with you? That sounds good. I'll see you tomorrow. Checking smoke detectors. Hello, this is Betty. Hello, Betty. This is Larry. How many smoke detectors are on your ceiling? I have two smoke detectors. Do you have fresh batteries in both of them? Both batteries are pretty fresh. Very good. I have to come by there and check out all the detectors. Very good. When do you think you'll be coming over? I'll be by on Thursday at noon. You don't have to be there. I won't be home. Just remember to lock my door, okay? You won't even know that I've been there. Hello, Betty speaking. Hey, Betty, this is Larry. Tell me, how many smoke detectors do you have, please? This apartment came with one, and I installed another one. Are there fresh batteries in each of them? Each detector beeps when the battery is low. They're not beeping. Good. I'm calling all the tenants because I have to check all the detectors. Okay. What day were you thinking about dropping by? I'll be at your building at noon on Thursday. If you're not there, I'll let myself in. If you're thirsty, you can grab a beer or soda out of my fridge. Thanks, but it'll only take me about two minutes to test them and leave. Hello, this is Betty. Hi, Betty. Larry here. How many smoke detectors are in your apartment? Actually, I have two. Are the batteries fresh? Both batteries are good. Great. I need to come by and check them myself. No problem. When are you coming by? Thursday at noon. I'll let myself in if you're not there. Okay. Remember to lock my door when you leave. I'll be in and out of there in just a few minutes. Garbage disposal. Is anybody home? It's me, Hannah. Hey, Hannah. How's everything going? My garbage disposal isn't working. 
Can you be a little more specific? Nothing happens when I turn on the switch. Do you remember how it started? About a week ago, I noticed a new sound. You didn't drop a fork or anything into it, did you? I don't use it very often. When I do use it, I put only soft food into it. I've heard that disposals need to be run frequently. That's interesting. I never heard that before. Have you tried to turn it manually using the key? I don't have a key, and I wouldn't know how to use it. I've got an extra key. I'll show you how to use it. I'm always willing to learn something new. Come on over. The key might not work. Then I'll have to call the plumber. If it works or doesn't work, it doesn't matter much to me. Yes, but I prefer to fix things now instead of later. Hi, Tom. This is Hannah from apartment 4C. Oh, hi, Hannah. There's something wrong with my garbage disposal. Exactly. What's going on? When I turn on the disposal switch, all I get is silence. When did this happen? Well, about a week ago is when it started sounding strange. Did you accidentally drop something in the disposal? No, I only use it about once a week. I hardly ever put anything into it. Actually, I've heard that too little use is bad for a disposal. Well, no one ever told me that. Did you try to turn it on with the disposal key? I don't have a key. Well, I've got a spare key, so I'll come over to show you how to use it. Okay, come on over now and show me how to use it. If the key doesn't work, I'll have to call the repairman. Well, if it doesn't work, it's no big deal. Yes, but if something's broken, I'd like to get it fixed ASAP. Tom, are you there? It's Hannah from 4C. Hey, Hannah. Long time no hear from. My garbage disposal refuses to work. What happens when you turn on the switch? When I turn on the switch, nothing happens. When did you first notice this? A week ago, it started sounding different. Did you put something in it that you shouldn't have? I use it rarely. When I do use it, I put pasta or other soft food into it. Hmm. Maybe you haven't been using the disposal enough. Sort of like an air conditioner in your home or car. Exactly. However, sometimes you can get it going again by using the key. What key? A disposal key. I've got a spare one, so I'll come over to show you. Okay. Come on over now and show me how to use it. If the key doesn't correct the problem, I'll have to call someone. Well, like I said, I rarely use it, so it won't be a problem. Well, it's my nature to fix things as soon as I can. Looking for an apartment. How did you find your apartment? You can check on the bulletin board at school for local housing. What if I need a roommate? There are websites that can hook you up with a roommate. How much do apartments cost around here? It depends on what you want. Do you want a one or two bedroom apartment? I just need a one bedroom apartment. That will probably cost you around twelve hundred dollars a month. Would you come with me to look at apartments? I would be happy to look at apartments with you. Can you tell me the best way to look for an apartment? The local newspaper has ads for housing. Is there any way to find a roommate to share an apartment with? Sometimes you can post an advertisement saying that you need a roommate. What do landlords charge for rent? Would you like an apartment for just yourself, or do you need it for two people? There are two of us. But we only need a one-bedroom apartment. You should be able to easily find that for twelve hundred dollars a month. I really would appreciate it if you could come look at the apartments with me. Sure, I'll go look at apartments with you any time you want. When you need an apartment, where do you look for one? Our school has a link on its website for apartments. Can I share an apartment with someone? Some of the ads in the paper are from people looking for roommates. Are apartments expensive in this city? Do you need a single apartment, or is this for two people? I want a two-bedroom apartment. You can get that type of apartment for around fifteen hundred dollars a month. Would you have time to go look at apartments with me? I love apartment hunting. I'll be happy to go with you. Finding an apartment. I found an apartment to rent. Where did you find this apartment? I found it in today's apartment ads. Really? I can't believe you actually found an apartment in the ads. I actually found it in the ads, and it's not too expensive either. 
I want to hear more about this apartment. All you really need to know is that the apartment looks great. How much will you have to pay for rent? Every month, I'd only have to pay $725. For where we live, that is really inexpensive. It is, isn't it? I'm glad to hear that you finally found an apartment. I think I may rent out this apartment that I found. Oh, really? Where'd you find it? I was looking through the ads today, and I found it in there. In the ads? Are you serious? Yeah, and it's affordable, too. I'd like to hear about this apartment. First of all, it's absolutely gorgeous. What is the rent each month? It's only $7.25 a month. That's amazing. The rent is very cheap. I know it is. It's a good thing that you read that ad today. I finally found an apartment that I want to rent. Where did you see it? I saw it in this ad for apartments in today's newspaper. You found an apartment in the ad? I really did. But what's so great about it is that it's really affordable. Tell me about the apartment. Well, most importantly, the apartment is beautiful. How much is the rent for the apartment? The rent is $7.25 each month. That's pretty cheap for out here. That's what I said when I found out how much the rent was. Congratulations on the new apartment. Asking about the neighborhood. May I ask you a couple of questions? What are these questions pertaining to? Just a few questions about the neighborhood. Okay, ask away. Tell me about the neighborhood. The neighborhood does have its problems. How is that? What I mean is that the streets aren't all that clean. Are there any other problems? Other than it not being so clean, it's actually a nice neighborhood. I'm sure that the problem will eventually be fixed. I hope that you're right. I wanted to ask you a few questions. What about? They are pertaining to the neighborhood that the apartment is in. Sure. What would you like to know? What can you tell me about the neighborhood? In all honesty, the neighborhood could be a little nicer. What do you mean by that? The neighborhood streets are a little dirty. Is there anything else wrong with the neighborhood? That's just about it. Well, hopefully the cleanliness problem will get better. I hope so, too. I have a few questions for you. What are your questions about? They're questions about the neighborhood. What are your questions? If you don't mind, would you tell me something about the neighborhood? I think the neighborhood could be better. What problems does the neighborhood have? A lot of the streets are rather unclean. What else is wrong with it? Nothing else that I can think of. Maybe in time they will clean up the streets. Maybe they will. Asking about floor plan. Hello, I'm calling about the apartment. What would you like to know? I just wanted to find out some details about the apartment. Like what exactly? Could you tell me about the floor plan? You can actually see the whole apartment for yourself. I don't have the time to go see the apartment. Actually, you can view this apartment online. Oh, I didn't know that I could do that. I can give you the website to view that apartment on. That is really convenient. That's the reason we made the website. Could you help me with a question that I have about this uh, apartment? What can I help you with? I would like to know about the apartment. What exactly did you want to know? I was wondering about the floor plan. You could always take a look at the floor plan. I won't be able to come down to see it anytime soon. Well, if you're too busy, then why don't you just look at it online? That's actually possible? Yes. I'll just give you the website so you can see for yourself. I absolutely love how convenient that is. That's the exact reason why we thought of it. I was wondering about the apartment. I'd be happy to help. Could you give me details about the apartment? What is it that you would like to know? Actually, it's the floor plan that I am inquiring about. If you would like to, you can see it for yourself. I am very busy and don't know when I can view the apartment. If you would like, you can view it online. I can do that? If you would like the website, I can give it to you. That would be more convenient than having to go all the way down there. Convenience is the reason that we made the website. 
Hello, I'm calling about the apartment. What would you like to know? I just wanted to find out some details about the apartment. Like what exactly? Could you tell me about the floor plan? You can actually see the whole apartment for yourself. I don't have the time to go see the apartment. Actually, you can view this apartment online. Oh, I didn't know that I could do that. I can give you the website to view that apartment on. That is really convenient. That's the reason we made the website. Could you help me with a question that I have about this、uh, apartment? What can I help you with? I would like to know about the apartment. What exactly did you want to know? I was wondering about the floor plan. You could always take a look at the floor plan. I won't be able to come down to see it any time soon. Well, if you're too busy, then why don't you just look at it online? That's actually possible. Yes. I'll just give you the website so you can see for yourself. I absolutely love how convenient that is. That's the exact reason why we thought of it. I was wondering about the apartment. I'd be happy to help. Could you give me details about the apartment? What is it that you would like to know? Actually, it's the floor plan that I am inquiring about. If you would like to, you can see it for yourself. I am very busy and don't know when I can view the apartment. If you would like, you can view it online. I can do that. If you would like the website, I can give it to you. That would be more convenient than having to go all the way down there. Convenience is the reason that we made the website. Discrimination. Hi, I would like to speak with someone in the housing department. You have reached the right area. Can I help you with something? I think that I may have experienced discrimination in trying to rent an apartment. Can you be specific as to what type of discrimination? I felt that he didn't like me because I wasn't the same race that he was. How come you feel it was race that was the issue? When I showed up on his doorstep, he seemed bothered by my appearance. Is there anything else that made you feel he was using race as a factor in who he rented to? As I walked through the apartment building, all I saw were people who were the same race as the manager. It is not easy to prove racial discrimination, but please go to our website, which can help you file a formal complaint. Is this the legal advice line? You are in the right department. What can I do for you? I think that the landlord where I am trying to rent an apartment may be discriminating against me. Discrimination is a pretty broad term. What type specifically? Oh, I have a feeling that he will not consider my application because of my race. Are you sure that race was the issue? What makes you feel this way? When he saw me in person, he seemed bothered by me. Although I seemed to be under consideration when I emailed him. Do you have any proof that he would not rent to you because of your race? I didn't see one person in that whole building who wasn't the same race as the manager. It is difficult to prove racial discrimination, but you may file a formal complaint in our office. Good morning. Is this the renter's hotline? Yes. What can I help you with? I have a question about discrimination in housing. What type of discrimination?、Uh, I think that he doesn't want to rent to me because of my race. What made you think that your race was a problem? He seemed okay talking to me on the phone, but seemed to change his mind when he saw me in person. What else made you feel he was discriminating against you? Well, he had a 25-unit apartment building, and everyone I saw there was his same race. Racial discrimination is very hard to prove, but if you would like to come down, we can go over a checklist that can help you build a case. Hi, I would like to speak with someone in the housing department. You have reached the right area. Can I help you with something? I think that I may have experienced discrimination in trying to rent an apartment. Can you be specific as to what type of discrimination? I felt that he didn't like me because I wasn't the same race that he was. How come you feel it was race that was the issue? When I showed up on his doorstep, he seemed bothered by my appearance. Is there anything else that made you feel he was using race as a factor in who he rented to? As I walked through the apartment building, all I saw were people who were the same race as the manager. 
It is not easy to prove racial discrimination, but please go to our website, which can help you file a formal complaint. Is this the legal advice line? You are in the right department. What can I do for you? I think that the landlord where I am trying to rent an apartment may be discriminating against me. Discrimination is a pretty broad term. What type specifically? Oh, I have a feeling that he will not consider my application because of my race. Are you sure that race was the issue? What makes you feel this way? When he saw me in person, he seemed bothered by me, although I seemed to be under consideration when I emailed him. Do you have any proof that he would not rent to you because of your race? I didn't see one person in that whole building who wasn't the same race as the manager. It is difficult to prove racial discrimination, but you may file a formal complaint in our office. Good morning. Is this the renter's hotline? Yes. What can I help you with? I have a question about discrimination in housing. What type of discrimination? Uh, I think that he doesn't want to rent to me because of my race. What made you think that your race was a problem? He seemed okay talking to me on the phone, but seemed to change his mind when he saw me in person. What else made you feel he was discriminating against you? Well, he had a 25-unit apartment building, and everyone I saw there was his same race. Racial discrimination is very hard to prove, but if you would like to come down, we can go over a checklist that can help you build a case. Negotiating the price. I think I may rent this apartment from you. That's great to hear. How much are you looking to rent it for? For each month, you would have to pay a thousand fifty. That is too expensive. I don't think that is too much for rent. How does eight fifty a month sound to you? That's not enough. That's the best that I can do. Eight hundred and fifty a month is not enough money. Would you please reconsider? That's my final offer. Take it or leave it. I would love to rent this apartment. I'm happy to hear you say that. How much are you asking for every month? I'm renting this apartment out for a thousand fifty a month. That is quite a lot of money for just one month. That is a fair price. What do you say to eight hundred and fifty a month? That's no good. Well, it's either eight hundred and fifty or nothing at all. I won't go any lower than a thousand fifty. Could you please go lower? That's the best I can do. This apartment is wonderful. I'm glad that you like it. How much would I have to pay for rent? The rent is ten fifty each month. That's way too much money. It isn't too much. How about if I pay eight hundred and fifty dollars? I can't take that. I can't go any higher than eight hundred and fifty dollars.、Mm-hmm. I honestly don't know what else to tell you. You can't go any lower than that. If you can't afford ten fifty, then we have no deal. I think I may rent this apartment from you. That's great to hear. How much are you looking to rent it for? For each month, you would have to pay a thousand fifty. That is too expensive. I don't think that is too much for rent. How does eight fifty a month sound to you? That's not enough. That's the best that I can do. Eight hundred and fifty a month is not enough money. Would you please reconsider? That's my final offer. Take it or leave it. I would love to rent this apartment. I'm happy to hear you say that. How much are you asking for every month? I'm renting this apartment out for a thousand fifty a month. That is quite a lot of money for just one month. That is a fair price. What do you say to eight hundred and fifty a month? That's no good. Well, it's either eight hundred and fifty or nothing at all. I won't go any lower than a thousand fifty. Could you please go lower? That's the best I can do. This apartment is wonderful. I'm glad that you like it. How much would I have to pay for rent? The rent is ten fifty each month. That's way too much money. It isn't too much. How about if I pay eight hundred and fifty dollars? I can't take that. I can't go any higher than eight hundred and fifty dollars. 
I honestly don't know what else to tell you. You can't go any lower than that? If you can't afford 1050, then we have no deal.